What is up, Bros and Bruettes? I am Ing Slasher, and today we're going to be getting into something that you guys have been asking me to do for a very long time, pretty much since the release of Call of Duty World War II, and that's to give you guys my top five class setups in the game. And I was going to do this earlier, but then with the big division change, it completely changed the classes I was using. So today, I'm giving you my top five classes. Now, as always, whenever I do a list like this, somewhat this does come down to personal preference. So if you disagree with me and like completely different guns, guns or completely different divisions you can just let me know down in the comment section below i always read all the comments and i'm always interested to hear what you guys have to say but i really do believe that these five classes are the best five classes in the game and if you kind of stick to these they should help improve your kill death ratio so without further ado let's get into it and start by talking about my fifth best class setup so this is the class I struggled to pick the most. I kind of switched weapons in here. I had the Type 100, I had the Grease Gun, but what I decided on was the STG-44. Now I'm going to be using the STG-44 with Resistance and Hunker. Now the reason why I'm using Resistance is mainly for the Lookout perk you get at level 4 Resistance. Lookout makes it so that the enemy's name pop up from a further distance. They are way easier to notice. Pretty much with any Assault Rifle, I'll either be using Lookout or the Resistance Division to get that perk. But also on top of that you also get the ping perk which when you kill someone it has a radar ping which tells you if there's any enemies close by so that's another good reason why i use resistance on top of that you can leave the perk on that tells you if there's any enemies close by on your mini map but the problem with that is is that it's scramblers turned on and then enemies kind of know where you are as well so i kind of decide based on situation whether i turn that off or on now the basic training skill I'm using here is Hunker, reason for that is because I'm not using the Armor Division, and with the most recent meta of Call of Duty World War 2, there is a lot of freaking grenades, because everyone gets a lethal and everyone gets a tactical. So because of this, I just throw on Hunker, it protects me a little bit more from grenades, it's not as good as the Armor Division, because the Armor Division also protects you from tacticals as well, whereas Hunker doesn't, but it's kind of a good second place for not using the Armor Division. Now I also know a lot of people are going to say, use the armor division to reduce flinch when taking bullet damage but the thing is is flinch is already really low in call of duty world war 2 so i only use the armor division specifically for that when i'm using weapons i have to be more accurate with i.e weapons with a lower fire rate and the stg actually has a really good fire rate so i really don't need to use it for that speaking of which the attachments i'm using on the stg are the reflex sight the grip and finally high caliber the reason why i use high caliber is because it reduces your bullets to kill by one assuming that you get a headshot on top of that grip reduces your recoil and i use reflex reflex is not necessary the only reason why i use it is because i don't like the iron sights on the weapon literally that's the only reason in fact using other attachments make the weapon better for example i would actually recommend using advanced rifling over the reflex sight it's simply i like the reflex sight better that's why i use it so if you want an even better class than this one, I would recommend using that advanced rifling over the reflex sight. And then finally, we've got our pistols and grenades. So as far as pistol goes, I prefer the 9mm sap. It's definitely personal preference. Just pick whatever pistol you like and whatever attachments you like. Personally, I like extended mags on my pistols, but like I said, it's really up to you and what you prefer. And then finally, as far as grenades go, I prefer the flashbang. And then finally, the sticky grenade. I just find that I get a lot more kills with it. I can be a lot more precise with with it so generally i stick to those two grenades for the rest of the class setups you're gonna see the nine millimeter stab sticky grenade and flashbang in every class so i'm not going to explain it for every single one of them so the fourth class is my sniper class so this one actually recently changed for me i used to use the car 98k now we are using the type 38 aka the arasaka and this gun is a beast if you don't have this sniper rifle and you enjoy sniping this should be the next weapon you buy with armory credits because like i said it's a beast it's got a fast aim down sights time fast rate of fire and on top of that i just find it super easy to aim with this weapon and it's even easier to aim with it if you put the four times scope on it which i don't do but a lot of quick scopers do so as far as attachments i'm using ballistic cpu extended mags and rapid fire for pretty obvious reasons i just think those are the best attachments on sniper rifles the ballistic simply reduces that idle sway makes it easier to aim and then rapid fire makes it so you can shoot 
faster. So then the magic of this class really comes in with the division and the basic training skill. So the division I use is resistance, and I know a lot of people are going to be surprised by that, that I don't use the mountain division, but that's because I play a lot of respawn game modes. And with respawn game modes, my biggest threat as a sniper is someone getting up close to me with an SMG. And by using the resistance division and keeping my scrambler on, my minimap alerts me when someone is getting close to me, which means I can pull out my pistol or pick up a secondary weapon like a someone SMG I've already killed and be ready when they get close to me. That's why I use the resistance division. On top of that, it has lookout built in. That way I can see people's names pop up across the map and it makes it easier for me to snipe them. The key to this is using the basic training skill undercover because what this does is it counters other snipers lookout. In other words, your name will not pop up above your head, making it harder for you to see and easier for you to snipe your enemies. The only time I change up this class is if I am playing search and destroy. If I'm playing search and destroy, then I will put the mountain division on with lookout as my basic training skill. Reason being, that way I get the silent footsteps. Also, if you're using the car 98k, I literally use the exact same attachments. Nothing changes there. So if you don't have the type 38 unlocked, still the same class is what I would recommend with the car 98. So my third class and my personal favorite on the list is my shotgun class. So this is a class that I think a lot of people won't tell you about, but I think is absolutely phenomenal for any close range map. Whether you're playing on Point to Hawk or the USS Texas, this thing is phenomenal. So I'm using the combat shotgun here. The attachments I'm using are advanced rifling, just makes it so you can shoot and kill a little bit further. On top of that, I'm using rapid fire, makes it so I can follow up with a second shot that much quicker, and quick draw. The quick draw is the key there because of the basic training skill I'm using. I'm using the scoped basic training skill. What this allows you to do is actually move faster while aiming down sights, or strafe firing. And the main idea of this class is to shoot the enemies and be able to move so fast while shooting them that they cannot shoot you back. It's super simple, and it works so well. The only thing that's a problem with this class is it takes a second to get used to. The reason why is because you move so fast with the scope perk while aiming down sights, it takes a while to get used to aiming with it. So that is why I'm using the armor division with it because it reduces my flinch. So if someone manages to hit me with a shot, I'm still very easily able to aim at the enemy. On top of that, it protects me from flash, stuns, um, grenades and any shell shock that can be caused by any sort of explosives. On top of that, it protects me from bouncing Bettys, which people use to a massive extent in this game. So that is why I'm using the armor division. That being said, the resistance division is also very viable with this weapon, especially with the minimap indicator. It can make it so you can get kills that much faster. I just personally prefer the armor division a little bit more. So this is really my secret weapon class. If you haven't tried out the combat shotgun with scoped, just give it a shot. Trust me, it's absolutely amazing. You're going to get awesome kill streaks with it. Probably my favorite class on the list. Up next, we have my run and gun class, my PPSH. I'm pretty sure this class is kind of standard on everyone's top five list, but I am using the PPSH here with extended mags, rapid fire, and grip. Now, the reason why I'm using grip is because, first of all, this gun has quite a bit of recoil, and when you use rapid fire, it has that much more recoil, so the grip is just kind of there to counter that. This is one of the weapons I really find I don't need a reticle with, and I use extended mags because with this weapon, you go through ammo incredibly, incredibly quickly, so I just throw that on there to kind of counter that. The other attachment some people do use on here is advanced rifling. I find it really doesn't help that much, now, I'm using this with the armor division, reason being, generally, I try to get up close and personal, and with the armor division, it's going to stop any explosives, flash grenades, and also on top of that, helps me with the whole flinch. And then the other thing I use, the basic training skill, which I think a lot of people are going to be surprised by this one, is energetic. This is really a perk that not a ton of people use, but like I said, this is my run and gun class. I want to be moving fast, I want to be doing everything as fast as possible with the PPSH, that is why I use energetic. It could be switched out for some other things like gunslinger for example but personally i find with gunslinger sometimes the animations screw up and there's some funky things going on with that so i find just a lot more consistency by using energetic to always be able to run faster than something like gunslinger so that's why i choose energetic and then finally we have the volk storm guver and you could probably see this one coming a mile away i still believe that the volk storm guver is the best weapon in the game 
if you are using advanced rifling with it. The way they nerf the weapon is they basically halved the range of the Volk Storm Guver, but if you simply throw on advanced rifling, it's the exact same way it was pre-patch. This gun is still godly. So the way I set up this class is I use advanced rifling, grip, and the reflex sight. If you want to make a better class, take off that reflex sight, put on high caliber. It makes it so if you get a headshot, you are always looking at one less bullet to kill. That's how you can make this class better than mine. Personally, I don't like the iron sights on the Volkstorm Guver, so personally, I use that reflex sight. But like I said, absolutely not needed. Then I use the resistance division, and this is kind of fluid depending on what game mode I play on. If I'm playing on something like Domination, I put on Armored. If I'm playing something like Team Deathmatch or Kill Confirmed, where the spawns aren't quite as set, then I throw on the resistance. I use that ping perk, and I have that lookout perk. If I'm using the armor division, I also use lookout, but since I'm using resistance, I use hunker. That's pretty much consistent throughout all of my assault rifle classes, especially with the Volk Storm Guver here. I strongly believe that this is the best class in the game. I think the the Volkstorm Guver is by far the best weapon in the game, and I still think it needs to be nerfed, so this is why that is my top class setup. But, as I've said before, I'll say it again, this is my personal opinion. These are my favorite classes, and if you disagree with me, feel free to let me know what your favorite classes are down in the comments below. I'm really interested, actually, to hear what you guys have to say, what your favorite classes are. So let me know down in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button. It really does help out the channel. And if you want to stay up to date on all my videos, the best way to do so is by hitting that subscribe button. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, Peace out. Hold on, hold on to me.